where I have to find the intercepts and the asymptotes of the given rational function. In this lesson, we will first find the intercepts and asymptotes by analyzing the graph, and then we'll come back and find them by hand. The rational function is graphed in black. The x-intercept is where the graph intersects the x or horizontal axis, which is the point 1.5 comma zero. The y-intercept is where the graph intersects the y or vertical axis, which is the point zero comma negative 1.5. The red vertical line the graph approaches is the vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote is given by the equation x equals negative two. The horizontal line the graph approaches, the blue dashed line, is the horizontal asymptote. The equation of the horizontal asymptote is y equals two. And now let's find the intercepts and asymptotes by hand. To find the x-intercept, we set y equal to zero and solve for x. Because we have function notation, we set f of x equal to zero and solve for x. This gives the equation zero equals the quantity two x minus three divided by the quantity x plus two. A fraction is only equal to zero when the numerator is equal to zero, and therefore we can just set the numerator equal to zero and solve for x, or if we want to, we can clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides by x plus two. Notice on the left, x plus two times zero is zero. And on the right, x plus two over x plus two simplifies to one, leaving us with just the numerator of two x minus three equals zero. To solve for x, we add three to both sides, which gives us three equals two x. And then we divide both sides by two, giving us x equals three halves. Now remember, the x-intercept is a point and therefore we need to give the x-intercept as an ordered pair, where the x-coordinate is three halves, or 1.5, and the y-coordinate is zero. Again, three halves is equivalent to 1.5, which we saw on the graph. To find the y-intercept, we set x equal to zero and solve for y. Or in our case, again, because we have function notation, we determine f of zero. Substituting zero for x, we have in the numerator two times zero minus three. In the denominator we have zero plus two. Simplifying we have negative three divided by positive two or negative three halves. Again, the vertical intercept is a point on the vertical axis where the x-coordinate is zero and the y-coordinate is negative three halves. This is equivalent to zero comma negative 1.5, which again we saw on the graph. And now let's find the vertical asymptote to find the vertical asymptotes, we find the zeros of the denominator that are not zeros of the numerator. In our case, the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one, which means to find the vertical asymptote, we set x plus two, the denominator equal to zero. Solving for x, we subtract two on both sides, which gives us x equals negative two, which is the equation of the vertical asymptote, which you get on the graph, we saw in red. Now there are a couple ways to find the horizontal asymptote. We will find the horizontal asymptote by comparing the degree of the numerator and denominator. And there are three cases when comparing the degree of the numerator and denominator. The degree of two x minus three is one since the highest exponent on x is one. And the degree of x plus two in the denominator is also one because the highest exponent on x is one. So the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same. If the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, the horizontal asymptote is the ratio of the leading coefficients. Leading coefficient of the numerator is two, the coefficient of x. The leading coefficient of the denominator is one, the coefficient of x. Two over one is equal to two, which indicates the horizontal asymptote is y equals two. Every horizontal line is always in the form of y equals a constant. Now when comparing the degrees, if the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. And if the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator, the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. I hope you found this helpful.